Hi everybody, today I'm working on the legs for the uh, stage top um, gaming table by Gutshot Games. Uh, for a minute I blanked out on what I was printing. Okay, I'm printing 10 at a time and um, uh, I'm at 50% and then I always use a, I use a raft for stuff like that and I'll tell you why in a moment. And I got it going at 120% uh, speed. 20% uh, infill, and uh, I, let, let me show you uh, some of the uh, legs that I already completed. Right now, I'm doing 10 at a time, and it says it takes about two days, but uh, you know, 120%, uh, maybe slightly, uh, slightly lower than that. Okay, right. printing 10 of them at a time on a raft. Use a raft. Um, they say you don't need any kind of support, but uh, well, you don't need support, but you use a raft. I didn't use a raft on this. Uh, I just wanted to print one up just to see if it would fit. Somehow, the filament worked its way into the uh, nozzle and it made a it made a little Dairy Queen uh, type thing. It's unusable. Now, um, I'm going to show you a hack. A hack I found uh, in a minute I discovered. And uh, you know I twisted this in. It uh, you know you don't have to twist it in so far that it breaks, and you need pliers to get them out. Yeah. Same with the uh, little connector things here. Now I understand that they've uh, they have files for um, um, the leg <laughs> that'll go in in this slot, and I'll twist in. Uh, um, you know, I might I might print a couple of them in the middle. You know, give it a little more um, stability. You can't see them because basically the leg is uh, basically the leg. Uh, you know, it's under the table, so you don't see it. Now, um, yeah, um, I'm going to reserve um, doing the um, the rails until the uh, LED rails come out, um, and uh, by then I'll have a I'll have enough uh, working space to put it all together. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you a little hack. Now they recommend uh, printing printing a bottom, um, you know, uh, in um, you know that soft uh, with the, using the soft uh, uh, filament. I forgot what it's called, but uh, I don't want to do that. I want to use a new uh, filament type. I'm you know I'm not sure how it works. I'm not sure if it's going to stink or burn my house down. But I did uh, discover a way. I'm sure some of you also thought chair leg floor protectors, and I'll put a link below. <laughs> I'll put a link below to the Amazon one that I use, and um, pretty much it's just a it's a rubber thing that you know it, it serves the same function as the one that uh, that they provide, and you know you put it under the at the bottom of the leg, you know protect your table surfaces. And this one, um, well, it's rubber. And it has like a like a felt thing on the bottom, you know, so to doubly protect your table. And uh, you know, you just slide it on over uh, the bottom of that. And uh, now this one, um, now if you use the square, the square shaped, um, square shaped uh, leg, these will adapt and fit over that. It'll fit basically. It'll fit fit over any kind of uh, any kind of uh, shape uh, leg that. Uh, that you want to throw at it, and uh, I uh, I ordered on Amazon in case I needed to buy some more, and I'd remember what it is. But I'll put the link down below, and uh, I th I think it I think it's pretty clever and pretty nifty. All right, what do you think? Uh, thoughts below, and uh, I'll uh, do a video um, when it's time for me to do the rails. Thanks for watching. Bye now.